What year is it? Oh, 2022? <gasps> it's the year of Double Duck! Wait, hang on. You probably don't know what that is. Why, it's only the password to the greatest level in all of gaming history! Lemmings. I'm talking about Lemmings. The game. Released 1991. This one, right here. This game was the very definition of childhood for me. And some trauma. And catchy tunes that will both entertain and plague me till the day I die and probably well beyond that too. And throughout the many, many, oh god there's so many, ports of this merry little descent into madness, I'm talking about one version in particular. So, you like my first gaming PC? Acorn Archimedes, A3010, a robust chunky fellow with up to an incredible 4 megabytes of RAM, wow! This absolute chad of a machine had a different set of passwords to most other ports, so while I had the absolutely darling Double Duck for Tame Level 22, see, look at that, they're like happy little duckies! Well, other ports gave us the power of dark incantation with gems like <laughs> Wasn't the only difference though, weirdly enough. There were four special levels, but only on certain versions. Gonna need a chart to keep tabs on all this, I swear. These are all based on properties by Psygnosis. We have Menacing from Menace, What an Awesome Level from Awesome, and A Beast 2 with a level from Shadow of the Beast 2. But where would Beast 2 be without an exemplary level to precede it? Very sad and probably very non-existent too now I think about it. Meet a beast of a level, best level and all around bringer of warm fuzzy feelings in my heart. Based on Shadow of the Beast, its atmospheric visuals and music were taken straight out of one game and plonked right into the other. Mostly. The Archimedes was a little bit different though, because it's kinda cool like that. I'm talking musical differences, and good gravy does lemmings for Acorn Archimedes have some dang good music, just not quite the same music as every other version when these four levels are concerned. It's what I grew up with, it's what I like, and it's what I've taken a very long time to harp on about in this video. So while the official music for a certain forest theme level that's playing in the background right now is perfectly fine, and I like it, really I do, it just doesn't make the happy chemicals in my brain quite so much as the version for the Archimedes. Just listen a bit with me, it's nice. Ah, good stuff. It's dark, mysterious, but at the same time it feels warm and homely. I mean, they are literally headed home. It's like the exact opposite of this Hellspawn level. So, super good call on that one. I spent several years not knowing about the original music for a beast of a level, or even where this entire level came from and why it was so different from the other levels in the game. All I knew is that it never showed up in future releases. Well, hi, Mr. PSP. What you got for me today? Guys, what is this? They literally destroyed the forest. It's dead. Just like the many lemmings I blew up. Except somehow worse because the lemmings' inability to avoid getting blown up was an actual gameplay mechanic. Even the music sounds like it slipped into wistful melancholy. What did the forest ever do to you? It doesn't even say home anymore. No home here, lads. Just sadness and desolation. Righto chaps, let's blow this joint. Eh, uh, it'll do.